OMG, it's Ashley again. Subscribe. I stick to the block. Hi guys, welcome to Exploring the Mini Cow. Un ladrón se robó mi corazón. Tú no tienes sentimiento ni tampoco corazón. Ay, un ladrón. Uno, dos, tres, Jungle Boy. Welcome to a series about grabbing my camera and exploring Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean. You could say this is a guide about learning their culture, exploring their culture and trying new things. In this series, we'll be visiting various places, eating, dancing and doing every islandy thing you could think of. Today's video will be divided into two parts, chapter 1 and chapter 2. In chapter 1, we'll be touring all the interesting sites like the Cabrit National Park, which the main attraction there is the Fort Shelley. We'll also be touring the Cold Sufri, where cold water actually bubbles. And the last of the first chapter is going to be the Red Rocks, which is so picturesque. For the next part, which is chapter 2, we'll be visiting the waterfalls, the Spani Falls, the Jaco Falls, and the Emerald Pool. So grab a snack. Sit tight and relax. Let's explore Dominica together. Chapter 1, Part 1 Touring Cabrits National Park, Main Attraction, Fort Shirley. Cabrits National Park is on the peninsula at the north end of Dominica. The park protects tropical forests, coral reefs, and wetlands. There are also hiking trails and an English garrison called Fort Shirley, which we'll be touring today. Welcome to Fort Shirley. It's usually a 5 minute walk according to the attendants, but it took me 10 to 15 minutes. I guess it's because I was walking up a hill. Anyways, welcome to Fort Shelley. Some parts of the fort is intact and some parts have been rebuilt so you can have a feel and you can see what the area looks like when the fort was still operational. I actually wish I could shoot these cannons. It's so cool seeing it, of course. I also saw where they store cannon balls, and it's so old and creepy. But then, I mean, it's history. So guys, we're at Fort Shelley, and this is like a very historical place where they used to fight wars and you know all of that. You could even see the view, this view. That's where they used to fight and they box people, kill people, shoot people, boop, they all die. So we came to see the place today and yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I'm trying my super best to make it as fun as possible because trust me, the but you know, I'm just trying to have fun. So we're stuck here. So during our tour today, the rain caught up with us, so we have to wait for a little while before we're able to continue exploring. I love history, not reading really but like, you know, exploring and watching history, so this was really like a good tour for me because I learned a lot and yeah, seeing all these things that they used in those days, like it was, it was so fun actually for me. So for the next place, we're going to Code Sufri. Welcome to Code Sufri where cold water bubbles i feel like this is maybe the coldest part in dominica or the coldest place in dominica so we took a hike down the trail cold sufri is a unique sulfur spring like this is a unique volcanic manifestation the water here is not hot but cold but like it has the same features as where you find hot water but this one is cold and then the sulfuric gas fills the air so do you know what that means everywhere smells like rotten egg and on to our next stop, which is Red Rocks. Welcome to Red Rocks. Red Rocks is so picturesque. Like, you can have picnics here. You can just sit down and chill and just enjoy the nature. Hiking down to Red Rocks, by the time you get to the end of the little hiking trail, that's about five minutes, I guess. By the time you get there, it's like you're in a whole different part of the way. I know that this place is so surreal, like it's picturesque. I couldn't even stop taking pictures in this place. I couldn't stop vlogging myself here. Anyways, here's a few pictures and videos of me and Red Rocks, my new boo. And guess what, guys? This is the last stop for chapter one. 
Maybe yeah. she doesn't end, but yeah, we have to move on to the next British chapter too, where we'll be visiting all the waterfalls. A waterfall is definitely a lovely thing to see. Welcome to Spanish Falls. There's actually two falls here, and if you want to be, or if you're an adventurous person, you can climb the small hill to reach the second white sulfur waterfall, and it's good for your skin. But now the problem is that for that one, you have to climb up with a rope. But anyways, it's really a cool place to chill, hang out, and just enjoy the natural water. The next spot is Jaku Falls, but unfortunately, I didn't really spend a lot of time in Jaku Falls. It's like a five-minute walk from Spanning Falls to Jaku Falls. So, yeah, these are the few clips I could get there, but I didn't spend a lot of time because time was running out. So the last stop for today's tour is Emerald Pool. So let's start from what is Emerald Pool. Emerald Pool is a 40-foot waterfall located in the heart of Dominica. It's in the middle of a forest. The pool is like a very bright green bluish color and you see mossy rocks and vines surrounding the place. When the sun shines, the water, I don't know how to explain it, but when the sun shines on the water, you see it through the trees. So by the time it hits the water it transforms to this emerald beautiful color that's where it gets the name from yeah and this is our last stop and i'm so sad that i had to end here but then stay tuned for more exploring dominica videos because it only gets better from here don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and yeah thank you for tuning in to another video today